hello everybody welcome back today as well we have got you another video in this video i'll show you how you can log in my zenith bank app on another phone but before that please do make sure to like our video subscribe our channel and yes without any further delay we're simply gonna go ahead step into our video for the matter what you have to do is simply gonna go ahead first of all go to play store app store on your new device that you would like to sign in with your zenith bank account and go to search option on top and type in zenith bank mobile app and once you have done so you're going to find your bank right over here what you have to do is simply tap on this install option and install your particular app right on that on that device of yours and tap on it open afterwards once your app is open you're going to find this kind of permissions it will ask for if you would like to allow you can choose allow if you don't you can don't tap on don't allow and if you already have an account and if you just like to access the previous one you simply tap, tap on this option of login be given enter your account number and the password just like you used to do before before accessing your account or the way you set up in your old device simply add in the account number on top your password over here and tap on this remember login don't forget to tap tap on that because if you don't do that the next time you open your app again you have to enter all of the credentials and it will be too much so just tap on remember login once you log in next time you just have to open up your app you will get signed in automatically in case of the forgotten password that you have you can tap on this forgot password and as well and simply retrieve a password that you have you have forgotten or you can also choose to tap on this login with pa fingerprint which will ask you to enable fingerprint on permission once you have and enable that fingerprint it will be easy for you to next time access your app as well this is the simple way for you to access it once you do that it will simply verify and confirm any device for the authoriz authorization of that and you will be done that is it guys hope this video was helpful to you all thank you so much for watching and yes i'll see you guys in our next video